no one down here to make sure that the city that he resides over, that he could step in and say that he's doing something. First of all, I'd like to say one major thing. Stop blaming just anybody for the violence in the city of Chicago. Blame the right, right people. Not just white people, blame the right people. Because it ain't just white folks a part of this. But it is on the fifth floor. It is on the fifth floor. The fifth floor took your schools. The fifth floor just took all your jobs that he said that he gave to the ex-offender. It's the policies of the administration. And every single alderman was a part of this criminal process that messed over our people. And you was right, brother. You was right. They should let Pharaoh go. But some of these Negroes that say they are ministers need to let them go, too. They need to let them go. Our people are suffering and being devastated. We have boarded up houses in every community in our community. It's almost like the curse of Pharaoh. Every other house is boarded up in our neighborhood. Why can't we build it up? So my question is this here. Mr. President, because he watches your program. Mr. President, the man that you have sent down here as the mayor hate us. Ain't no other way of getting around it. We ask the President of the United States. We ask the President of the United States. Let us, the grassroots people, not these name brand blue ribbon Negroes. Us, the grassroots people, let us take our bills. Stop giving them people, them evil, evil people our money. Don't give them our money. No more. And you're going to take a couple of them people out there that are leading the people, and you're going to throw, they're going to throw them a bone. And they're going to make them leaders so they vote Democrat again. Okay? I know how the Democratic Party works. I've been a registered Democrat most of my life. And they are dirty. They are dirty. I'm a Kennedy Democrat. Ask not what your country can do for you. But what you can do for your country, that kind of Democrat. Well, that's over. They've ruined the Democratic Party. It needs to stop. Hey! Come here. Let me see it. You don't tell us what to do. That's a dog. I tell him what to do. You need to listen to the Tea Party. It was Black Robe Regiment's foreman. And we went no matter what. We die to live as Christ, to die as gain. Father in heaven, Pray that your word goes out and gets out. And that the people hear. And they replay this video and they send it out and keep sharing it. Because I know you're disgusted, Father. Oh, Father in heaven. And I pray these things in the name above all names, in the name of Jesus. Would you tell our military they can't use? How dare you? How dare you? There's only one name. Jesus. My prayer warriors. Or to my prayer, to the prayer warriors. That are supporting. And praying for me. I thank you. Worry about them. They're prayer warriors. I thank you. I feel your prayers. I tried to walk away from this thing. It's not working. The African American people who have treated this man better than they would treat Jesus if Jesus returned. And so you can't say anything about him because he's partially alleged to the African American people. 
And you know, black people were, uh, always walk around with a chip on their shoulder because they're black, daring anybody to say anything to them. And our society has been hijacked and kidnapped and pushed into a corner where no one can say anything publicly about black people. If you do, they call you a racist and a bigot. So the true thoughts and true dialogue between white folk and black folk cannot go forward because you cannot speak your mind or the truth without be, being called a racist if you say anything about the spirits of black folk, the habits of black folk, the spirit that black folk are full of, black men are full of abandonment, they are full of murder, they're full of robbery, and they're full of violence. Now that is not to say that all black men are, but 70% of them are. 70% of them desert their children. 70% of them don't marry the mothers that they father children through. 1 million, 1.2 million of them are in prison. And this has nothing to do with white folk or slavery. So you can't, most, we can't have a true and meaningful dialogue about race in this nation because if you say anything against black folk, you will be drummed out of town and out of church. So here's what I want to say to you as we go forward to fight this battle. The first thing we're going to have to do, you're going to have to do what I'm doing. You've got to stand up and not be worried about popular opinion or what people say about you or what people think about you. Black people got a chip on their shoulder. If you want to knock it off, knock it off. Knock that chip right off their shoulders. I mean, they knock chips off of everybody else's shoulder. I mean, what is fair is fair. We've got to get rid of what I have referred to as a affirmative black social affirmative action, the way we have to walk around eggshells, the way white people have to walk on eggshells around black people on the job, in the church, and every place else. If you're white, you have to walk on white eggshells so that you don't offend these black people that wear uh, their racism on their shoulder, their, their blackness on the shoulder, and they wear, they, wear, they wear slavery on their sleeves. This has got to stop. It is hurting the black race, it is destroying the white race, and it's pulverizing our nation in terms of its relation, and we're working together united to be able to make for a greater nation and even a greater church to give God the glory. I say unto you, stop white people, stop walking on eggshells around black people. I mean, who are they anyway that you got to be so careful about everything you say, everything you do, Every place you go and every turnaround, you got to hear slavery. Every other moment, you got to hear something about slavery or you got to hear something about police brutality. I mean, it just needs to stop. And black folk are not going to stop lapping this up and pushing you into a corner and bribing you and making you act like a misfit while you're around them and having you so glad that you're no longer in their presence when you finally leave work or wherever else you are with them, you can finally relax and be yourself. This has got to stop because it's destroying black people. It has given them a false sense of security making them think that they don't have to do anything to better their lives, that you are the cause of everything that's going wrong with them. Now, if you white folk are tired, if you are tired, if you're sick and tired of hearing black folk blame you for everything that's wrong with them, stop acting like you are, wrong. You are the blame, you are the reason for everything that's wrong with black folk. You're not, so stop acting like it. Knock them chips off of those black folks' shoulders and knock that slavery off of their sleeves and can an amen and a boom shakalaka go right there. Praise Almighty God, I am Pastor James David Manning and we're going to put an end to this mess going on here in America, and we're going to build a great nation of unity. Be informed, people. These are wild turkeys. I've been working with them for a year, and let's just pretend the dog is law enforcement. Your local police, or your local law enforcement, is outnumbered by the feds law enforcement now three to one when you factor in DHS, ATF, DEA, FBI, CIA.
See, now I'm the politician that keeps law enforcement in line. Y'all. There is no longer any room for hope. Food stamps. If we wish to be free, there is no retreat but in submission and slavery. Grant. We have petitioned. We have remonstrated. We have supplicated. We have okay. frustrated. It's That's what the American so people are becoming, be so a bunch of turkeys. Has to be purchased as the price of chains and slavery. Forbid it, almighty God. I know not. You know, Ben Franklin wrote his daughter a letter. He wanted the American... He wanted a turkey to be the uh, symbol for America rather than the eagle. You know, I don't know if I agree on why he wanted to do it, but seems like the American people are becoming turkeys. Uh, they just free range farming you. One more handouts, huh? Socialized medicine. Give me liberty or give me death. Plants! Plants! Oh, unearned income credits on your taxes you shouldn't be taken anyway. Oh, there's law, more law enforcement to protect you. Here's an agency, DHS, supposed to secure your borders, but they ain't securing nothing. We are apt to shut our eyes They're just running around figuring out and listen to the when they can use lethal so force and legally. Into For my part, you know, the FBI, cops, nobody likes DHS. Not even law enforcement likes DHS. It's a civilian standing army. It needs to be taken back. Hey, TSA to grope you in the airport. Yeah, you're safe. You're safe. You know, pretty funny. He spent billions of dollars on the Boston Marathon bomber. And it was a homeowner caught the guy. Real good job. If the citizens would have been armed, he'd have never made it to court. You wouldn't have had to pay that. I train my life for freedom with no regrets.